from this video we will be starting with the respiratory tract In the earlier uh, segment, we discussed about various parts. Now to understand what exactly we are starting with, we'll discuss external layers and the nasal chambers in this particular segment. That means when we draw the face of a person, what exactly is the area that we are talking of? This opening which we see in the nose region, the anterior opening. These two openings here, these are called external nares. And these external nares, they lead into a passage. It goes into this passage. And this passage has its lower surface as palate. If you remember when we talked about buccal cavity, we said roof of the buccal cavity is palate. So if we talk about the upper chamber, that is nasal chamber, then its floor is the buccal cavity or floor is uh, the palate. So this is palate. And this chamber is called nasal chamber. That means we have two nasal chambers. Through these two nostrils, when the air goes in, it goes into a nasal chamber. Each nasal chamber is divided into three parts or three uh, areas. There is no exact demarcation, but we know what exactly they are. First is known as vestibular chamber. Then second is respiratory chamber. And third is olfactory chamber. Vestibule is as soon as we enter a particular place. The first place where we land is the vestibular chamber. So here when we are talking about vestibular. So this first part is called the vestibular chamber. This helps in filtration of air. So its function is filtration of air because it is lined with mucous membrane and hair. So in this area there are hair present which filter the air and there is mucus also. So all the dust particles which enter they stick to this mucus. So it helps in filtration of air. We can say it is lined by hair and mucus membrane. Respiratory chamber, it is also lined with mucus membrane. Lined with mucus membrane and it is vascular. It is highly vascular. That means blood supply to this chamber is more. The main function of the respiratory chamber is it acts as an air conditioner. Acts as air conditioner. What is the function of an air conditioner? It has to bring the air to a particular temperature. So now here it is going to do two things. First situation is if we inhale extremely cold air and if there, that cold air goes into our lungs then that lower temperature air might damage the alveoli. That means this cold air must be brought to the normal body temperature. So first situation is where we inhale cold air. Then what happens in the respiratory chamber. It has to be warmed and we know that distribution of heat is done by blood. So there is more blood supply to this area. So when we inhale cold air the blood supply to the respiratory chamber increases and more and more heat radiates from the blood vessels or capillaries into the air and the air would get warmer. 
So here what is going to happen? Blood supply to the membrane increases. This would result in heat radiation and this heat would come into air. So heat radiation to air and air gets warmer. So this chamber has helped bringing that cold air into a warmer air. Second situation is if we inhale warm air. So situation two is when we inhale warm or hot air. Again, if that hot air goes into our lungs, the alveoli would get damaged. So how does this respiratory chamber now cools this particular air? It is hot. We know if it is to be cooled from the air, heat has to be taken out. So now what happens is here, mucus secretion increases. So there is more mucus. This mucus, next step is mucus evaporates. And we know evaporation requires heat and that heat is taken from the air. So mucus evaporates and heat is taken from hot air. And if from the hot air heat is removed, it will get cooler. And that is why we say this respiratory chamber air acts as air conditioner. The two things which are there, it is lined with mucous membrane and it is highly vascular. Both these things are going to help this chamber in regulating the temperature of the air which has to reach up to our alveoli. If cold air comes in, then it has to be warmed up. That is done by this vascular nature. More blood supply, more heat radiates and the air gets warmer. The second is, if we inhale hot air, then this lining of mucous membrane character helps more and more mucus is there, mucus evaporates and the heat is taken from the air and it gets cooler. And that is why we say that this acts as air conditioner. The third chamber is olfactory chamber and as the name tells us, this is responsible for the sense of smell. It is lined with A sensory membrane and this membrane has olfactory cells. The name of this membrane is Nidarian membrane. And this Nidarian membrane is also known as olfactory membrane and this is responsible for perception of sense of smell. So when we talk of nasal chamber, there are three compartments. The first compartment where the air enters is the vestibular one, which has a main function of filtration, removal of dust particles and all. The second compartment is the respiratory chamber, which acts as an air conditioner or an, as an air conditioner. And the third, the last compartment is the olfactory chamber and that is the main chamber which perceives smell. So, perception of smell is by olfactory and other two compartments are responsible for filtration of the air and bringing it to the normal temperature. Now, in the nasal chamber, we also find certain folds and these folds are known as conchi or turbinals. So, let us talk about those things now. Each nasal chamber has uh, three folds, membranous folds. And these folds are known as conchi or turbinals. So these are scroll-like folds which are present. Scroll-like folds and they are known as conchi or turbinals. 
Let us name them and we'll see in which chamber which one is there. First is inferior concha or it is also known as maxillo turbina. Second one lateral concha and it is also known as ethmo turbina. And the third one is known as superior concha or naso turbina. And as we said each chamber has three. That means all of them are in pairs as we have two nasal chamber. So if we are talking about these two nasal chamber, there would be two inferior, two lateral and two superior. So they are in pairs. Here we have written them as in one chamber. Inferior, lateral and superior. Now where are they located? The inferior and the lateral, they are in the respiratory chamber. So if we have to just draw those fold like structures, these folds would be something like this and this increases the surface area. So if we have to specify that these two that is inferior and lateral are present in respiratory chamber that is the second one in respiratory chamber and the superior one is present in the last that is an olfactory chamber. So this is present in olfactory chamber and the function of these conchae is to increase the surface area. In case of res respiratory chamber there would be more mucous membrane, there would be more blood supply so that it acts as an effective air conditioner compartment. And in case of olfactory chamber, more surface area, that means a longer olfactory membrane and the perception of uh, smell can be done in a better manner. So here is our nasal chamber and if we have to just write this, so these two would be inferior and lateral conchae and this one would be the superior. Conca, so that we are able to uh, pinpoint the location. Two in the respiratory and one in the olfactory chamber. So our nasal chambers are two in number. So they are two. Here we have just drawn the side view and that is why we are seeing one. So external nares they lead into nasal chambers and nasal chambers have these three parts. There are folds inside this. These are known as turbinals or conchae which help in increasing the surface area. So this is about nasal chambers. Next thing which we can discuss here itself is this nasal chamber here this opens and this opening is known as internal nares and this we have already discussed in digestive system that these internal nares they close when we are swallowing with the help of this small bulb like structure which is known as uvula. So these internal nares get closed. So when we talk of respiratory tract the external opening that is external nares the passage that is nasal chamber and the inner opening that is internal nares.